In this section, we will be comparing slopes of different equations. In particular, we cover slopes of parallel lines and slopes of perpendicular lines. There are four different cases of slopes. The first case is a positive slope, and this indicates that the line slants up from left to right. On the graph, the red line indicates a positive slope. If we were to look at an example and solve for the slope, we would find something equaling a positive number, such as m equals 3. The next case is a negative slope. That indicates the line slants down from left to right. And on the graph, it is the blue line that indicates a negative slope. An example of this would be m equals negative 1 half. Next, we have an undefined slope. This will be illustrated using the green on the graph. And if we were to have an example, this would be finding m equaling any number divided by 0. This is a vertical line. And lastly, we have a slope of 0. And this is any horizontal line. If we were to solve for m, m would equal 0 divided by any number a. Next, the slope of a line can tell many things, such as if two lines are parallel. If two lines have the same slope, then the two lines are parallel. For example, we have y equals 3x plus 8 and y equals 3x minus 4. Both of these equations are in the slope-intercept form. This is shown as y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, this is the coefficient in front of x, and b is the y-intercept. As you can see, y equals 3x plus 8, 3 is the slope for that line. In the next line, y equals 3x minus 4, 3 is also the slope. And since these are equal, we know these two lines are parallel. Now, let's do an example. It says determine whether the line through negative 1, 2 and 3, 5 is parallel to the line through 4, 7 and 8, 10. We can tell if these two lines are parallel by finding the slope of both lines. By using the slope equation and plugging in the points, we find that the slope of the first line is 3 fourths. Doing so for the second line, we find that the slope is also 3 fourths. And since both slopes are equal, we know the two lines are parallel. Now, we can also look at the slopes of lines to show whether two lines are perpendicular. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. This means that their product is equal to negative 1. Lines with slopes that are negative reciprocals are also perpendicular. For the example below, we see that the slope of the first equation is negative 1 third. And the slope for the second equation is 3. To find whether these two lines are perpendicular, we multiply their slopes. Negative one-third times three is negative three over three, which is equal to negative one. Therefore, we know these two lines are perpendicular. Let's do another example. It says determine whether the following lines are perpendicular. We have three x plus five y equals six, and two x equals y minus four. The first thing we need to do is find the slopes of both lines. This time, instead of using the slope formula with two points, we are going to get both equations into the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and look for our coefficient in front of the x to represent our slope. So first we have 3x plus 5y equals 6. When solving for y, we find that y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 6 fifths. And the slope of this first line 
is negative 3 fifths. Now we do the same thing for the second equation. 3y equals 5x plus 12. We solve for y and we find that the slope is equal to 5 thirds. In order to show that these two lines are perpendicular, we must multiply their slopes. We have negative 3 fifths times 5 thirds. When multiplying together, we, that equals negative 15 fifths, which equals negative 1. Therefore, the lines are perpendicular. Finally, if the slopes of two lines are not equal or do not have a product of negative 1, then the two lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular.